problematic topic for a lot of people. We call it directed numbers. Um, you just call it maths with negative numbers. Negative 8 plus 5. How do we do this? Uh, the first thing they usually show you in school we use the first number negative 8 on a number line. And since we are adding, we go to the right 5 times. 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer to negative 8 plus 5 is actually negative 3. <laughs> negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. Or if we have 4 minus 6, we start off on 4. And since we are subtracting in this case, we go backwards. 1, 2, 5, 6. So you can think of um, subtracting as owing and going down the number line to the left. And adding as, you know, gaining, going to the right. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. The problem arises with larger numbers you can't draw a number line for everything so there's a rule that we use and i'm just going to tell you the rule and make it simple right if the signs are different you subtract the absolute values of the number and you put back the sign that was bigger that's the first thing and then the next thing is if the signs are the same you just add and you put back the sign same signs add put back the sign different signs subtract the absolute values put back the sign of the larger number so in this question these numbers here have a different sign when i say sign i mean subtract and add right so negative 13 plus 15 signs are different subtract the absolute value so think 15 minus 13 you could do that in your mind 15 minus 13 is 2 so we put 2 and we leave it as 2 because the larger number was positive or if some people think of it like this listen to this some people think of it like this I, it's like I owed the bank $13 and then I paid back $15. So in all, I, I would have $2 in my account. You see, it's like the negative is like owing and the 15, you gain back the 13 that you owed plus an additional two. So the answer is like plus two. So with these negative numbers and positive numbers, if it's positive, you don't need to write a positive sign. Um, negative seven minus 27 signs are the same. So yeah actually add you owe seven and then you owe 27 more so you actually add seven and 27 is 34 and you put back the sign so in all you are now owing negative 34 you are you are now owing 34 so in number three there's a little mess here where the, these two signs be next to each other and i'll talk about this in the subsequent video but when two signs are next to each other you, you use a rule to turn them into one sign so this actually stands for a negative sign so you could kind of ignore these two signs and replace them by a negative sign. Even if there was a brackets here, even if there was well, parenthesis, brackets, in the Caribbean we say brackets, even if there was a brackets there, um, it, means that, it still means that the two signs are next to each other. So you could replace it with one sign and a subtraction sign. Signs are the same, a negative sign here, a negative sign there, and 10 and 12 will make 22. So the answer is 22. No, no, no. Negative 22. You put back the sign of the larger number. In these cases, there's just two negative signs. You put back the negative sign there. So here are some questions. You can do them. Put them in the comments below. Do them. Do them now. Pause the video. Do them now. Put them in the comments below. Um, I, I will probably swing back sometime in the future and, and give the answers. For more sauce on your doubles, if you want a deeper look into this lesson, WhatsApp this number now, WhatsApp me, and you can join my ongoing lessons classes. And we have all subjects in the student hub, excellent teachers. Next up, I will look at what happens with multiplication and division. Love and blessings, we're going through the whole year. We're going to do this uninterrupted. This is class one, part eight. Press like.